Hi, this is Rich McGee from Interel Consulting, and I'm here to answer that question that's been bothering you for quite some time, and that is, what is EDMCS? EDMCS is the cloud offering from Oracle to replace DRM. Even in version one, Oracle is breaking from the DRM mold. EDMCS does a few more things than just master data management. It will open up to contain reference data such as glossary information, hierarchy data, dimension data, as well as mapping data. Just what is master data anyway? Gardner describes master data as the consistent and uniform set of identifiers and extended attributes that describes the core entities of the enterprise, including customers, prospects, citizens, suppliers, sites, hierarchies, and chart of accounts. Managing master data has had some failures, and here are some of the challenges. The fact is that the first master data undertaking often fails. The most common reason is that companies tend to want to bite off more than they can chew. Then there's the challenge of getting everyone to agree on something as simple as a name. The data, especially if it's derived, can produce integrations that become unmanageable. Factor in that policies and procedures are continually advancing and you can imagine that there are several potential points of failure. EDMCS allows you to manage your master data at your own pace rather than trying to take on everything at once. With EDMCS, you can silo your master data to begin, then expand the breadth of the objects over time. Data governance has grown up to include notification of changes and subscriptions to those changes. This allows for a faster turnaround when the data changes or is proposed to be changed. EDMCS also allows sharing dimensions across applications. Oracle has created EDMCS with a new code base. In other words, it's not your mama's DRM. The user experience is consistent with Oracle Cloud products. In this screenshot, on the left side, EDMCS is tracking changes made to a hierarchy. In the right pane are the members or nodes of the hierarchy. There is also visualization here on the screen that shows us the members or nodes that we have changed or touched. Note here that once we are in a dimension, the tabs become the other dimensions available to us to edit or update. Here's a screenshot of a user that is synchronizing hierarchies. You can actually drag and drop between hierarchies. A viewpoint is created by a data chain. A viewpoint is really a filter down view of the data containing the members that a particular user is authorized to work on. The difference from DRM technology is that the detail members or nodes are held separately from each other. They are put together based upon the user's permissions of what they are allowed to update, change, or delete. Here's how the data chain works in building a hierarchy for a viewpoint. Node types which include base members and their rollups combine to create what's known as a hierarchy set. This hierarchy set is then queried to create a customized node set that is then returned to the user via the viewpoint. The notion of a viewpoint allows for users to receive customized hierarchies that they are allowed to view and interact with. Changes that are made to the hierarchies are tracked and placed into a holding area that's similar to a shopping cart that you might find on an online store such as Amazon. This facilitates bulk updates to the nodes that the user has worked on. There is also a more collaborative methodology to changes in the data via notifications and the capability for a user to subscribe to these changes so the organization has visibility to transformations of the data. In EDMCS, the concept of versions is gone. Base nodes are separated from hierarchy nodes. The loading of external files is handled through adapters and intelligent file interpretation. Therefore, at present, there are no action scripts. There is conformity logic around the nodes, which is similar to validations. EDMCS is not tied to DRM in any way. EDMCS is totally new cloud technology and is 100% written for the cloud and interaction with other Oracle cloud products. Here's what to expect in version one. There will be some basic application adapters, namely for PBCS across pods and a flat file adapter. The adapters are written in JSON, so it would be feasible to write your own custom adapters. The adapters have the connection logic and import export logic built in. 
There'll be no more Blender since the technology handles blending differently than in DRM. In version 1, there'll be no scheduling, nor is it planned by Oracle at this time. There are no migration utilities from DRM to EDMCS. Node filtering is now handled by the viewpoint. Under the hood, EDMCS will use FDMEE for select integration. Currently, here's a list of items that are being worked on. Under data management, there are custom properties, validations, inheritance mapping, and branching logic. Applications being worked on are EPBCS, FCCS, and Cloud General Ledger, and the addition of some data validations during an import. More items include automated data comparisons, some change management, and the ability to create master data from an application. There are enhancements to governance workflow and support for 5 million member hierarchies. Following are enhancements that may or may not be on the radar. We all know that enhancements are subject to feasibility and prioritization, so any or all of this could change. On data management, the ability to secure sensitive properties, EDMCS proposed data transformations, and external lookups and commits. The data catalog category may contain a glossary so consumers can understand what they are looking at, metadata requests, and approvals. Regarding application integrations, we may see HCM, ARCS, and PCMCS. Data rationalization down the road may provide fuzzy matching logic, duplicate identification, and a resolution workbench to help solve data issues. Support for 10 to 100 million members is being considered. I thank you for your kind attention on what is EDMCS, and I leave you with this thought. Every day, three times per second, we produce the equivalent of the amount of data that the Library of Congress has in its entire print collection, right? But most of it is like cat videos on YouTube or 13-year-olds exchanging text messages about the next Twilight movie. Nate Silver. Thank you, and have a good day.